This is the cost. This is what it costs me to have nice legs. I am afraid to do this. I'm not excited about this. Um, if I get eight reps, I'll call that a win. Yo, ACs, what's up? It's your boy Primar Billy here, man. We're here today to train legs. We're back at the muscle. You know what I'm saying? It's Thursday night, it's late. Your boy's been working overtime all the time. And uh, I wore something a little traditional. <laughs> yeah, if I was a Mexican, this thing would be starched down and way cleaner. But uh, yeah, I dressed a little different tonight. I wanted to wear something cooler. Uh, the heat rash is kicking. The t-shirts be sticking. So I wanted something a little more flowy and light. So I threw this on. But um, yeah, we're here to train legs today. I was thinking of prioritizing the abductors. Uh, I want to see my legs improve a bit from the side, so I may hit that first, then move into the leg press. But uh, first we're going to train abs, you know, hit some calves, and then we'll get to that. But I'll see you boys there. Cable crunches, simple enough. Decided to switch it up for an easy bar handle today, just letting the hands be hooks. Just trying to contract my abdomen. Ah. as much as possible Top ab to the bottom. All right, so this is a little different for calves. Normally we do something standing. I think the next best option is simply a uh, toe push on a leg press. Great for calves, as you'll see, they are gonna be contracting very, very hard. Uh, it's just ideal, much better than seated calf any day of the week. That was, we'll count one rep right there. Just want you guys to see this contraction here. Was a that was a banger um we exceeded the rep range for sure but wow it seems like a lot of weight just for the calves so we'll be pushing this one heavy in the weeks to come months to come you know how long it takes me to train yeah they look nice they're nice and hard and veiny and this is the shit this is the cost. This is what it costs me to have nice legs. I am afraid to do this. I'm not excited about this. Um, if I get eight reps, I'll call that a win because there's definitely some pre-exhaustion. There's some fatigue coming into this. I've done other things before I got here. Am I scared of this set? Yes, I am fucking scared of this set. 
This is heavy. My knees already don't feel kind of good because I've been sitting in an excavator 60 hours a week or more. I've been pinned in a chair a lot, but warming up, I felt confident to move into it. So there's no direct knee pain or anything. It's just shit on my mind. I'd have probably passed out if I'd have went for another rep because I feel like I want to pass out right now. One thing I was trying to stay mindful of was to not fully lock out because when I fully lock out that tension comes off of the quads and everything starts shaking. All right, peel myself out of here. Here in the muscle, it's hotter than two. Whew. It's hotter than two rats school it. <laughs> it's hotter than two rats screwing in a wool sock, I tell you what. It's hotter than a freshly fornicated fox in a forest fire. So here we're doing abduction. We're gonna be working on that outer part of the glutes, outer outside of the legs. I want to improve this area, give it more detail for my side shot. So something I'm gonna add in. I could tell by doing my warm-up set that this is a part of the body that I haven't focused on in a while. It's weak in isolation. Oh, time to shine, baby. Ah. saw it in real time guys sequential order of motor unit recruitment it moved at a steady pace until more force production was required as those intermediate fibers began to fatigue and the bigger and the bigger ones start engaging until there's no more to add in and the implement stopped moving Here we have adduction, AKA the good girls, it's to make those legs thicker from the front. Add some backdrop to those, to that cod piece. <laughs> the last thing you want is when someone's staring at your package for there just to be empty space behind it. <sighs> but yeah, this is gonna increase the width of the legs, increases the diameter of them, makes them look so much fuller. And again, um, Completing the physique means filling in all the gaps and all the voids. The adductors are critical. I mean, very, I, I believe it's very important. One of the most important things you can do for your legs from the front and the back. I'm stalling. I am pouring sweat. I can feel it rolling off my body. This shirt is see-through at this point. This is disgusting. And this set is going to be even more nasty. I don't know if you guys want the, the face or not. Not really much to see with the legs. I'm all hairy and shit.
You could have put a gun to my head, there'd have been no more. All right, guys, this will be the last one of the day. Because, I mean, I'm just, I'm blistered. I am so hot. I'm sweating so much. It's making me sick. And then add in the most intense sets that I could possibly muster in. The body cannot sustain this for a long time. And we're not training to sustain this, we're training for bigger muscles. I was having this thought, I'll share it with you real quick. You know, watching my own footage, I know you guys watching, it's like, it doesn't seem like much. He did a set of leg press that looked half-assed. He did some abduction, some adduction, calves and abs, like, that's nothing. This is the way I've been training for a long time. And we talk about skill acquisition. This is a skill set that I've developed. When I got off of that adductor, I could feel the insides of my thighs so full. Like, I, I couldn't imagine another fiber of my adductors for it being possible to recruit another one. There's no other greater stimulation I could have gave it than that set. Anything else is just a beat down. That comes from skill. And that is a skill that has been developed for years now. And the only way you develop a skill is by doing it. And I can't doubt the method. I can't doubt that this shit works because I've seen the changes it's produced from year to year. So I could confidently know and sit down, hit this set of hamstring curls, and know that that's all my hamstrings needed, which is what I'm about to do, guys. Now it's gonna hurt. Ooh. Ah.